This brief tutorial will walk you through the construction of the uh, graphical causal model that you see in front of you, or the, uh, the plot of this model, uh, in R. Um, so this doesn't look especially um, exciting right now, but um, uh, I think uh, causal models are increasingly being used in the social sciences to represent the relationships uh, between variables, and uh, it's nice to have kind of an automated process for generating uh, the uh, plots like this one. So uh, it turns out there's a really nice R package to do this, and I'm just going to uh, walk you briefly through uh, my code uh, to to create this uh, this plot. Um, so uh, the, the package that you want is called rgraphviz, and that's available on uh, bioconductor.org. Um, so uh, it turns out that the construction of this plot is really easy. Um, so we're going to start off by creating a data frame. Um, so uh, mine is just called df here, and uh, it's important that you have uh, columns with the following three names. Um, uh, the, the plotting package is going to be really sensitive to this, so make sure that you have a column that's called from, a column that's called to, and a column that is called weight. So in my from column, I'm going to have um, a vector of uh, uh, string uh, variables here, and um, each element of this vector is going to be a node that um, I'm hoping I'll end up with in my final graph. So um, here I have uh, education, SES, uh, and current city. So um, this from vector is going to uh, give uh, uh, a list, or a, a, a vector rather, um, of the nodes that I want uh, directed edges originating from. And then the two uh, uh, column is just going to contain the information for where I want each of those directed edges to go. So, for example, the first element in this vector is wages. So, um, this means that um, in the end, I'm going to end up with um, a directed edge from education here uh, to wages. Now, finally, uh, you can specify a weight. Uh, here, I've just uh, done that, uh, or uh, made, made uniform weights of one for each of these, um, each of these connections. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this data frame. And then uh, uh, we can go ahead and look at it down here. Um, OK, so we can see uh, we've got this from, to, and weight uh, columns. And uh, they're kind of arranged in the way that, that, that we hope that they are. So the next bit is um, we're going to use this graph BAM command. And I'm pretty sure this is in the graph uh, library, which is actually called by our graph viz. So the first argument here is going to be the data frame that I've just constructed, uh, which for me is called DF. And then I can also specify the edge mode, which I've, I've uh, chosen directed here, because I want to end up with a directed graph. So um, I'm going to evaluate this. And then if we look at G, um, we can see um, that it's a, a graph BAM graph, um, and then we see that there are four nodes. Uh, the four nodes are going to be education, wage, current city, and SES, which is good. Um, and then I should have five edges, which is nice because I've also got five rows. And then um, I, the way that this package is going to work is there's going to be a layout graph command. So um, once G has been established here as a graph BAM object, this layout graph is going to do the work to figure out uh, where, the, um, uh, where these variables are going to be plotted. So I'm going to go ahead and evaluate that. And then um, we've also got some uh, choices about our uh, graphical parameters. So um, I, um, uh, beyond the defaults, I've just uh, chosen here to uh, make my uh, nodes a little bit darker, this LWD equals 2. Um, and then similarly for the edges, or sorry, sorry, I guess this is uh, rather the uh, edges are a bit darker. And the nodes I've chosen to make a little bit darker as well. And um, I've increased the font size a bit too. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and reevaluate those as well. And then this node render info uh, is going to allow me to change the uh, graphical parameters for specific nodes. 
So um, uh, it's commonplace uh, in, uh, in the social sciences to represent variables that you can observe with boxes and latent variables with circles. And so I'd like to change the, uh, the default shape of those variables to uh, boxes where I observe them. Otherwise, usually uh, this graph would render just with circles. And so uh, the way I do that is um, I name the node uh, that I would like to uh, um, adjust here with, uh, say, education, for example. And then I also name the shape that I would like. So I'm changing education, current, city, and wages all to boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and evaluate those. And then I say render graph. And uh, here you should end up with a plot that looks like uh, the one that I, I have at the right. So um, that's it. Um, I am, I'm a newcomer to this, but uh, hopefully this will get you excited about making causal graphs in R.